Alright guys, so in this video, I wanted to test which objects you can shoot through, or wall bang. And I saw in one of Deadly Slob's videos, Trees. Just giving credit where credit is due, that you can shoot through trees. That was the first time I ever heard of that. And so I wanted to test this, but I wanted to test it also with the player on the other side to see how much damage it does. Now in this clip, I'm actually shooting through a much bigger tree than in his video, but the bullets don't go through. I hit him in the arm there because I shot him not through the tree, but just in the arm. And even, I don't know if you can see, but there's complete bullet holes on the other side of the wall there. I called it a wall, it's a tree. But yeah, look, at, there's a full pattern of a full auto gun spray, except the USEC didn't take any damage, which I think is just a, a glitch. I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe there's multiple dimensions in Tarkov. Anyways, shooting through a thin birch tree here. I did take a botany class, and this is definitely a birch tree. It's a very soft, thin tree, and the first shot went straight through. This is much like the tree he shot in his video. And the USEC cam, we had some satellite, you know, delay going on, but it popped in eventually. And from, from my uh, results with the flesh damage test video, I could tell that it was doing less damage, so I wanted to, you know, test it even farther. So I went to the red doors on factory, which you can shoot through. I tested this a while ago without a USEC on the other side. And this is probably made of steel, I'd assume. I'm, I'm not sure what the material is, but but it's not that thick. And shooting through these things could be pretty cool. Um, I've tried to do it a lot when people are camping it, but as you can see, this is my biggest problem with it. It does very little damage. Now, from all my armor test videos, I I gotta say, this is the mo the least amount of damage I've seen from when a bullet goes through an object. Like, when the bullet hits armor, it will take off one point, but this, it was like, I know it's not half a point, but it just seems so little. I was hitting him in the head there, and it was acting as if he had, like, a helmet on, but the bullet goes through the, the wall, right? And then it hits him in the head, and I would think the bullet would still have enough energy to kill him. As you can see, he got hit in the head a lot there. So much that he learned how to levitate. <laughs> he totally levitated there. I don't know what that was some weird lag, but on woods here. And I wanted to test this metal shack because I went in offline mode and I couldn't tell if it would wall bang or not because I, some objects, like, it's hard to test because some objects don't actually show like a hit indicator on the other side. You'd have to be shooting at something else. So I brought a USEC in and this thing is pretty much an aluminum tin can to me. But as you can see with the USEC cam, these bullets are just kind of going right through without actually hitting him. And I just want to point out that that clip was synced up and that's how much lag there was. Anyways, yeah, that thing should be shootable through. Shootable through. You should be able to shoot through it. English. And I wanted to test the DVL with M61 rounds, which are the highest penetrating round in the game. Um, not sure the exact stats. You could check it yourself if you want. But also, you cannot shoot through a barrel. Now, I don't know about this one. I don't know if this is for balance or what, but anyone who has shot a gun, you will know. You can shoot through a barrel straight through forever and ever. Probably shoot through like 20 barrels. But anyways, I found a bunch of cut up trees, which if you could shoot through them when they're alive, you should be able to shoot through them when they're dead or cut up. Not sure if trees are actually alive or not. Pretty sure they are alive. But yeah, as you can see, shooting right through it. Um, it was kind of hard to tell in those other ones, but there is dust coming out the other end. And testing tires here, which is kind of useful. If someone was hiding behind tires, like for cover, you can shoot through them. As you can see, the bolt holes on the ground there, because I was shooting towards the ground. And now I wanted to test the wood cabins. Now, I'm sure many of you know this, but you can shoot through doors. And I was getting bullied by some scavs. I was just making sure they weren't coming back. But as you can see, the bullets go right through. Even though they don't make an imprint on the wall, that's just the problem with the texture, I'd assume. They, you can see the, uh, the outcome on the other side of the door. And no, no sign that I went through until you look at the other side. And all the bullets, pretty much most of them, there is a chance for bullets not to go through. Also, when bullets go through objects, they kind of veer off in any direction they want. Now on to factory, where we're going to be testing the shotgun with buckshot versus the M4, which has been shooting M995 this whole time. I used the highest penetrating 
ammo in every clip you've seen so far, just to, you know, clear things up for anyone wondering. And I wanted to show you this filing cabinet, because you can't shoot through it. Now, I don't know I've, what this Russian filing cabinet is made out of, but filing cabinets are very, very thin. Um, maybe not in Russia. Anyways, onto this bridge, which I have a problem with. Um, I've tried to shoot people through this thing all the time and always wondered to myself, why aren't you dead, buddy? I just shot you through that thing. It's like a... What is this thing made out of? Sheet metal? It's very thin metal, and I was using that door back there as a backsplash, so to say, to see if any bullets would catch onto it, and I couldn't catch any bullets through it. Um, it just didn't seem to be able to be shot through, unlike these cardboard boxes, which are made of cardboard, and you should be able to shoot through them, and you can! So it's kind of cool that, that you can shoot through objects like this. Um, also, the hay bales on shoreline in that field, you can shoot right through those things. I've gotten kills through them, but yeah, sadly I don't have the footage. I'd love to show you. But yeah, don't hide behind hay bales. Don't hide behind cardboard boxes anymore because, you know, you could just get shot right through them if the other person knows. Even with the shotgun, they go right through every time, as you can see the splash on the back over there. And as you might notice in the other clips, like I talked about before, the when I mean the bullets go off in any direction, um, when they go through the object, they kind of have a chance to veer off like towards the roof or something. And I tested a lot of different objects. I didn't want to bore you guys just shooting stuff, but this is a, another object that I don't know if it should be shootable through one of these containers. It's just metal, but you can't shoot through it with either the M4 or the shotgun. There doesn't seem to be a difference with like gun versus gun. It seems to be you can either shoot through this object or you can't. Like the shotguns go through doors, M4 goes through doors. They share the same values, so to say, when going through an object. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you did not like it, and subscribe if you want to see more content.